live from the local station. News 4 Jack starts now. We're learning more details over the last time anyone saw five-year-old Taylor Williams alive. The state attorney's office has released new evidence in the case tonight. Taylor's remains were found six days after her mother, Brianna Williams, reported her missing. Brianna is accused of her daughter's disappearance, but right now is not charged in her death. News for Jack's reporter, Corley Peel, joins us live from the newsroom to show us what the evidence tells about the last time Taylor was seen alive. April 2019 is the last time investigators say anyone was known to have seen Taylor Williams. And in these new documents around that time, there was concern after she stopped showing up for her speech pathology classes. 400 pages of documents give more details about five-year-old Taylor Williams' mysterious death. Records show she attended 13 speech pathology lessons through April 17, 2019. Her doctor told an NCIS detective that Taylor and her mother, Brianna Williams, never showed up to her appointment on April 24th. She was then discharged from care after missing two appointments. The doctor told the detective she never saw any signs that Taylor could have been abused or neglected. These maps show Williams between Jacksonville and Alabama from October 31st to November 2nd, 2019. Her phone was tracked down to the very minute, even showing her near the wooded area in Alabama where Taylor remains were found. Investigators believe that's where Williams dumped her body. A screenshot of an Amazon search for a shower curtain is included in the evidence. Investigators say a shower curtain and a plastic trash bag were found along with Taylor's remains. Williams is charged with child neglect, child abuse, evidence tampering, and giving false information. She is not charged with her daughter's death. With the medical examiner unable to determine how Taylor died, her death is still a mystery. Brianna Williams has pled not guilty to her charges. She is in Duval County Jail as she waits for trial. Reporting live from the newsroom, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.